fáctica de la confianza. With this address to the nation, late Monday night, President Martín Vizcarra dissolved Congress, throwing Peru into a deepening political standoff. Disolver constitucionalmente el Congreso. The streets began to fill, not with protesters, but with people welcoming the decision. Just hours after President Martin Vizcarra announced the dissolution of Congress, and these are the scenes outside the Assembly building as thousands of Peruvians have come onto the streets to celebrate. There have also been some tense exchanges with the police, as many people here are calling for the remaining members of Congress to be turfed out onto the street. The demonstration was largely peaceful, but there was anger that some lawmakers were refusing to leave. We're just waiting for new elections to be called and that they leave now, now, and stop calling themselves lawmakers. They're no longer lawmakers, they're usurpers. These lawmakers have taken control of Congress and are trying to evade the responsibility which the people have entrusted in them. Immediately after Vizcarra's announcement, the majority opposition cried dictator and voted to declare him temporarily suspended from office, replacing him with Vice President Mercedes Arauz. But other leftist lawmakers supported the president's decision and left willingly, such as Indira Wilka, who told CGTN why. What's most important is that this act allows the advance of something which the people have been calling for, the fight against impunity and corruption, which in recent years has penetrated all political sectors and is strongly linked to the business sector. This will allow us time to discuss our future away from this corruption. Despite popular support, Vizcarra had struggled to pass anti-corruption reforms through the opposition-controlled assembly. The Congress has very low approval levels of less than 10 percent, according to the polls. A proposal for early elections was rejected by a congressional majority, but supported by around 70 percent of Peruvians. In that sense, this move to dissolve Congress will have strong support. With legislative elections set for next January, analysts say Vizcarra will now have the emergency powers to pass those long-delayed reforms. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.